Hello everyone, Tovan here again and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix pretty much every latency problem in FL Studio. The majority of FL Studio users know that FL wasn't the best at dealing with latency. You either had to manually align everything or just let it do its thing by itself, which isn't usually a good idea, but that was the past. Now it's pretty much solved. This is going to be a very quick video because it's just that simple to set up. So let's see what happens if we were to just do stuff without the fixes enabled. The best way to demonstrate it is with sidechaining because it's a quick event and you can really tell when the sounds aren't aligned properly. So this is a small example. I basically routed this sound to one separate mixer insert that is the sidechain mixer insert and I'm using 3 delimiter as my sidechain effect. You can see the shape right here. Now let's add the plugin that have a massive amount of latency on that sound. I'm going to use retune for example because it has something like as you can see up here 170 milliseconds which is kind of crazy. Keep in mind that this sidechain effect right here is now after every plugin of every sound routed into this sidechain mixer insert. This is where it gets really bad. So this is without retune. Uh, more or less in sync. And this is with retune. You can clearly tell that the sound itself, like this sound, is being shifted a little bit like this. Thankfully now, you can go to the mixer and then go to the top left. And you can see here, plugin delay compensation, and you basically just enable both of these settings. And that literally fixes every single thing. Now I'm going to play the whole thing with the retune on that singular sound. Everything is aligned. Like what? And actually I'm gonna go ahead and put a retune after our sidechain effect to see how it sounds. Still aligned. Okay, let's go ahead and go crazy and add multiple instances of that retune plugin on that singular sound. Now, this one mixer insert has like 800 millisecond of latency. Now let's play it. Everything is still aligned. That basically means that you can now throw effect everywhere, anywhere with or without latency, and it will still realign everything just fine. And of course, that means that you can now have just one singular mixer insert just for sidechaining and have effects before it that have like huge amount of latency or even like the sidechain effect itself. It can have latency and it will be fine. Personally, that makes my life a lot easier since I do a lot of, uh, you know, effect stuff and most of those effects do have a certain amount of latency i used to be like afraid about like what if things aren't in sync and stuff like that now i can just do stuff you'll have to increase your ppq to a higher amount for it to work properly ppq is basically the resolution of your automation clips and envelopes you can also zoom a lot more but that uses a lot of cpu you can keep it at the lowest amount which is 24 when you're producing if you don't have a powerful CPU, but I recommend turning it up to at least 96 when you're rendering. Of course, the higher the better. For example, on this project, I have these settings on and I'm going to put the PPQ to the lowest amount and hear how the sidechain sounds kind of off sometimes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can hear it and now I'm going to increase it to at least 96 and now it should sound a lot better. So yeah, now it sounds a lot better. Also, I don't really know if those settings are on by default, but you'll have to enable those 
before saving your templates. I didn't have those on on my previous templates and kept complaining on how FL is bad with latency. In reality, I was just dumb. Oh well. Oh yeah, and by the way, the playback. For you guys, it should look like this. Do you see this thing when it's moving? It's not playing, like, the playback isn't really, like, correct. This goes way early and then the sound plays after. If you guys have that problem, all you have to do is to go to settings and then go to audio. And if you have this playback tracking set to mixer, try driver or hybrid. It should fix it. I'm going to select hybrid. Now. And now it works. But yeah, again, it's a short video because it's just that easy to fix. I hope this video helped you. If it did, consider liking it. And also you can subscribe to my channel if you feel like it. Thank you for watching. I will see you later. Bye bye.